Yeah, I feel like I improved um, a couple of little things here and there, but um, for the most part, um, I think I improved from the first scrimmage to the second scrimmage as well. When scrimmages go live, like what you live does, how much does that help get you ready for game situations and everything? Um, I mean, it's live situation to practice, so that's the best way we can signal it to the game. So that helps me get the ball out on time if I need to, or just help me play situations better. How do you feel this going on for you? I was going well. I feel like I'm improving uh, each practice. Just got to get guys healthy, uh, get back on the field. Are you excited for the spring game, and what are you looking for, for from the offense? Um, consistency, um, you know, focusing on the little things, um, you know, managing the game, uh, managing situations. What's kind of been, I mean, how challenging has it been already having a somewhat low number of receivers and then losing a couple more to injury over as spring has gone on? And it's always a challenge when guys are injured, um, especially guys who are a big part of the offense, but um, you got to manage the situations and, uh, you know, control what you can control. So force other guys to, to, to step up and into roles they might not have been comfortable in and kind of show up, see what they can do? Yes. And when you also just working with the new running backs, how's it been working with Patrick Green and uh, Akers? It's been well. Um, those guys come ready to practice every day. Um, good group of guys. Um, good mental group of guys, too. You know, they always studying their plays, always trying to get an edge on things. How different has it been for you? You know, just last year you were freshman, this year you're taking the leadership role in the offense. Just how different has it been? Um, it hasn't been. You know, too different. Uh, you know, last year becoming a starter, I had to become a leader too. So this year, I'm just a little more experienced. So um, uh, guys look up to me more. So it's just a bigger leadership role for me. Have you approached this your second spring now differently now that you are kind of the returning starter and don't feel like you have to compete for that? Um, no, I'm just trying to get better every day. I approached it the same way last last spring, and I'm approaching it the same way this spring. Just focus on what I can control and. Um, doing my job the best way I can. Deandre, on, a, <clears throat> on an urgency level as a whole, how have you and your teammates kind of taken this spring as a, a, a real chance to prepare for the season opener? Yeah, we're just taking it one practice at a time, trying to get better, trying to focus on the now, not worry about the future. Just what, what's the one area you've been trying to work on during practices? Um, or is there one area in particular? Um, just keeping two hands on the ball, um, you know, trying to make smart decisions. Um, we do a lot of situational stuff, so trying to make smart decisions um, during tough situations. Last week we saw, uh, saw Jimbo said, you know, he kind of wanted to see some more leadership from, from players on the team. How have uh, you guys kind of trying to take it upon yourselves to, to lead yourselves? I'm just coming out of practice with a lot of energy. Um, you know, a lot of young guys don't know how to come out here and, um, you know, practice like a Florida State Seminole. So me, Darren, and all the leaders on the team is just trying to, you know, introduce them to that culture that we practice hard every day. We've well, this has been asked already, but we got a chance to speak with Levante and Jimbo talked about him too. What growth have you seen from him in, in year one and year two? What have you thought of him in this spring? Who? Levante Taylor. Um, I mean, he's grown a lot. Uh, you know, just always being on the receiver's hips, um, always doing his job, um, doing what Coach Kelly asks him to do. Just we've work, working with our, you've worked with a ton of different offensive lines line combinations this spring, just uh, how difficult has that been, just trying to get consistency there? Um, you know, it's extremely difficult when uh, you have a lot of injuries, but those are things that you, know, you can't control. Um, so we're just doing a good job of managing what we can and putting guys in there who, who are able to perform. We've heard a lot about Keith Gavin this spring. He, I know he's been kind of in and out with injury, but what have you seen from him? Um, yeah, he's been out with an uh, uh, bum ankle, but um, I see him trying to get back out there and trying to do everything he can to, you know, help the team. All right, we good?